you saw him get up and walk away after that fall. Oh, yeah. Like a walking, talking angel, man. Can you describe it? <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! Charges on this docket. We repeat our belief that the defendant is You're not get mentally that competent and ought to be first. removed immediately for comprehensive psychiatric evaluation. But as your honor has already dismissed that request, we will continue to make our case. I've seen the documents. It's all in black and white, in English, French, Chinese, and Tex-Mex. Hey, I ain't interested Destroy in dancing. You no best back out my space bubble here. The UN won't stop until they can control all our brains. To return, and at least they have to the distribution center, you mean? I'm fighting for all of us, you don't doing, you get sir? it? It's really nice to see you. State would like to repeat his request to get the defendant into psychiatric evaluation. I'm not crazy. It was the fall of the Seventh Empire. That's when the UN made its plan, and the gnomes hey, have eyes. Cooking good looking. The they have ears. Those are the microphones. They transmit and send signals to the towers. The, the relays, the, the satellites, that they, they have infrared cerebral wave monitors inside. Hey, they can make you do things. Nice. They make you move. They make you think something you wouldn't normally think. Boyle bounces the waves. I'm the only sane one here! Your Honor, if we can't get this lunatic into appropriate medical care, let's just review the videotaped evidence, huh? The legitimacy of which the defense has not disputed so we could just confirm his guilt and go home. All right, let's watch some movies. Who's got the popcorn? Hey, you got that VCR up and running? Yep. It's all ready. All right, good. defense care to make a statement at this time? Objection! Out of order! These illegal videos only show what I did, not why I had to do the things I did. I demand videotape of the UN Security Council secret meeting of June 17, 1953. Motive is not exculpatory in cases such as yours, Mr. Hawk. I strongly dislike my brother-in-law because I happen to know he's a drunken gambling ass. That does not Art plans to slash his tires, or kidnap his Irish setters, or take a baseball bat to his skull. More's the pity. We're gonna watch this videotape one more time. When it's over, you're going to plead not guilty by reason of complete imbecility. Or I'm gonna sentence you to the maximum sentence allowed by the laws of our great state. Maestro, if you will. Yes, Your Honor, right away. Be quiet, Mr. Hawk.
Nice production value. Where did you make it? How do you sleep at night? We did not make this, Mr. Hawk. This is you caught red-handed on camera at the scene of the crime. Oh, oh, I think I know how this ends. Get ready for this. The cop has a split personality disorder. Oh, he was really the serial killer all along. Just watch the movie, Mr. Hawk. That is not me. Yes, Mr. Hawk. Yes, it is. If that is me, then the UN must have made me do it. They can do that. That sounds an awful lot like a confession to me, Mr. Hawk. Boring! Be quiet, Mr. Hawk. Nice production value. Where did you make it? Nothing ever happens fast in this town. What the hell are you running around for? Oh, I think I know how this ends. Get ready for this. The cop has a split personality disorder. Oh. He was really the serial killer all along! See? See? That's the power of the UN. Order. Mr. Hawk, I am doing everything in my power. Hey, uh, excuse me. Getting a little close. I am no fan of the UN, and believe your ideas deserve a fair hearing, but you need to shut up. I... I need to pee? Well, we're You stop that shit! What are you doing? This is all I can eat. I'm on it, no worries. Hey, partner. your hands where I can see them. We're going back to the courtroom. You will not speak to anyone or stop for any reason along the way. His honor is not a patient man. Glad to have you back. Take your place at the desk and let's wrap this thing up. A judge is given considerable latitude in sentencing cases such as this. Context is taken seriously. In all my years upon the bench, I don't believe I've ever sentenced a man to much more than the minimum sentence for the crimes of which this court has found you guilty. In your case, however, I'm availing myself of the opportunity to hand down the maximum penalty. Two years confinement in a state penitentiary, minus time served, and a fine of $10,000. Confinement to be served at Rapid City Minimum Unit. Done. Someone make the necessary arrangements and get this convict into a keep. You heard his time. Get a move on. Let's go. The court will now take a 45-minute recess.
to learn. Follow me. You know, I should just give you your own goddamn key. That's what I should do. <laughs> well, I heard the judge finally gave you a real sentence. I've been telling you about this, you dumbass. One day you're just gonna cross the line. Now you're gonna be stuck in a cell with some big dick. <laughs> but don't you worry about that, Grant. Yeah, look at you. I almost feel sorry for you. Anyway, the place is locked down. Got some uh, disturbance going on. So the good news for you is we got a nice cell away from the bad boys. For now. It's a goddamn Shangri-La compared to where you're going to be spending the next few years. Hey there, Pecker Puller. An old friend just came back and said hello. What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm reading my daytime story? <laughs> daytime story, whatever. You just keep your head down and you'll be okay.